Hey, you know, Arya, I was thinking, we should probably do a full program on the science behind that ship that's stuck in the Suez Canal right now. A lot of interesting stuff, it turns uh, out. the boat's already unstuck. What? That means we're already behind. The algorithm's gonna crush me. Better get to it, science boy. <sighs> oh, no. Uh... Now entering the facility. Uh, okay, so before we all forget about haha <laughs> big boat stuck funny memes, I want to quickly go through one reason this may have happened and the interesting fluid dynamics and science behind it. On March 4th, 2021, the Golden Class container ship Ever Given collided with both sides of the Suez Canal, blocking global trade and 369 ships, nice, from getting to their destinations for six days. This was incredibly impactful to the global economy. It cost $100,000 every second in lost trading time, over $50 billion total. Now, at the time I'm filming this video, the official cause of this blockage is not known. However, I do have a physics-based reason why this could happen so easily to a ship like the Ever Given in a canal like the Suez. The Suez Canal, which runs through Egypt and connects the Mediterranean and Red Seas, is a big part of global trade, but it itself is not very big, especially when compared to today's mega-sized ships. The Ever Given, for example, is 400 meters long, 60 meters tall, and can carry enough cargo at once to outweigh all of the gold ever mined on Earth ever. Massive ships like this barely fit in the Suez, and that has implications for the physics involved. The Suez Canal is what engineers would call a restricted waterway. That means in comparison to something like the open ocean, the water in this shallow, narrow canal can't just go anywhere when acted upon by an outside force. This is important because when an absolutely massive ship pushes around the water in a restricted waterway, weird stuff happens. And this leads us to this fancy lad. Danielle Bernoulli. The Swiss mathematician and physicist Danielle Bernoulli is known for many things in physics and mathematics, but he's chiefly known for his contributions to fluid mechanics and the explanation and calculation for why this happens. This is just a sheet of paper and a straw. Why did the paper come together? Why didn't the paper just fly away as I blew air on it? Well, it's because Bernoulli figured out that faster moving fluid creates a region of low pressure. The faster the fluid, the lower the pressure in that region, relatively speaking. And that makes sense if you think of pressure just as particles moving around. If pressure is particles just bumping into stuff, then if fast moving particles are moving away from a surface and not bumping into it as much, that means a lower pressure. And science is repeatable. You can also find this so-called Bernoulli principle at work in your shower. You ever turn on your shower and the nice hot water is going and then all of a sudden the curtain jumps up at you and sticks to your butt and is all cold? Well, this is because of the same low pressure, high pressure action. As this water flows, it's bringing with it the air. And as this is moving, it's at a relatively higher velocity than the surrounding atmosphere in your shower and your bathroom. And this creates a pressure differential which creates suction and pulls in the curtain towards your butt and it is all cold. How does any of this have to do with a big funny boat being stuck? Well, just just let me dry off first. They're eh? running out of time. They are losing interest. They're what? Oh! Uh Remember that we said that water in a restricted waterway like the Suez Canal basically has nowhere to go. And so when a massive ship like the Ever Given moves through it and maybe gets too close to the bank, you have water squished in between the hull and the bank. This squishing, because the water has nowhere to go, remember, creates a fast moving area of water. Fast moving water, lower pressure, as we learned. So now we have an area of lower pressure near the back of the ship that's literally providing suction on it and an area of, relatively speaking, higher pressure at the front of the ship pushing it away. This is called the bank effect. Now, if we combine this very well-known bank effect with what were apparently high winds that day, possibly human error, and a recent sandstorm, you get a perfectly physics-based explanation for why the Ever Given got more stuck in the Suez Canal than a stepsister in a laundry 
a a anyway. And, and furthermore- The boat has stopped trending. Oh, and there's this other additional effect uh, called squat, where because the, the ship is getting so close to the bottom, it can push water out of the way and create a suction zone there and can also scrape the bottom and help it get more stuck. Okay, whew. until next time. Now exiting the facility. Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for their direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. Today, especially, I want to recognize research assistant Papi Zahn and visiting scholar Daniel Tilson. If you want to join the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white lab coat, join me on staff for members only live streams, videos earlier than anyone else, chatting with me every day on Discord. You can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, you get your name on RA here each and every week. And as you can see, there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you, so I have no idea how I'm gonna pass the time. There are a lot of interesting fluid mechanics at work, even if, you know, now the algorithm's gonna crush us, like I said, and I'm extending the length of the video past which most people view it, so it's also gonna... But you can feel uh, something like this squat effect, too. If you've ever played around in a tub or gone snorkeling or whatever, and you've tried to press your hand really quickly against the bottom uh, surface when you're submerged in water, if you try to force that water out of the way very quickly, you will feel this kind of sucking motion. And that's just one of the other pitfalls that these massive ships can fall into in something like a restricted waterway, having their bottoms literally sucked to the bottom and scraping against the thing, and then, and when, and once their bottoms are stuck, you might as well be a stepsister in a washing machine. <laughs>